All right, some very good news coming to us out of New York. Buffalo's presumptive mayor-elect, India Walton, is a very proud democratic socialist. We're perfectly fine with socialism for the rich, she says. So we're, that, uh, that headline wrote it weird. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> the, the entire intent of this campaign is to draw down power and resources to the ground level and, and to the hands of the people. And when we think about socialism, um, you know, we're perfectly fine with socialism for the rich. Uh, we will bail out Wall Street and banks and give a billion dollars in tax incentives to one of the richest people in the world to build an empty Tesla factory in South Buffalo. And when it comes to providing the resources that yes. families need to thrive, uh, socialism becomes scary at that point. So I'm, I'm very proud to be a democratic socialist. I am proud to have the support of Buffalo DSA and National DSA. Uh, I received the call from Congresswoman AOC this evening, and I'm, I'm just excited to be a, a part of this movement that is ushering progressive politics into Buffalo. Being the third poorest mid-sized city in this country, we should be considering how we begin to eradicate concentrated poverty and disadvantage. And Oh, hell yeah. She's not the new mayor yet. She is the uh, presumptive mayor. Just because uh, she won the Democratic primary. So, uh, assuming she's going to be elected in November, because it's Buffalo and it's highly blue. We can't I did, get... I did not hear the quote that I specifically saw and she highlighted in a tweet that I would like to highlight right now. If you are in elected office right now, you are being put on notice. Hashtag Madam Mayor, I said what I said. India Walton is a badass. So I am sure that starting, what, tonight? She is going to be demonized non Stop. She will be the new poster child for the right wing abuse. And that makes me incredibly sad. Walton 38 is on track to become the first female mayor in Buffalo history. According to the New York Times, she will also be the first socialist mayor of a major American city since 1960. When Milwaukee had one. When we think about socialism, you know, we're perfectly fine with socialism for the rich. I don't like the way... Like, he, like the headline kind of makes it seem like Democratic Socialist says we're perfectly fine with socialism for the rich. Like the way she said it in the, in the, in the interview, I don't know if that was purposeful by the news agency. Mayoral result will not be official until November, but there are no other candidates on the ballot, barring an ambitious write-in campaign or an unforeseen circumstance turning the primary in Brown's favor. Walton will be mayor next year. Brown did not concede on Tuesday, holding out hope for absentee ballots, but the Associated Press called the race Wednesday morning. Support for Walton has poured in from around the country, especially those who share her democratic socialist leanings. AOC tweeted about her here. Walton beat Brown during early and primary day voting. Brown is the current mayor. By about 1,500 votes, turnout for the election was terrible. Erie County Executive, I, that's and that's sad, but that's one of those things that, like, this is an issue of mine that I want to focus on. Why the fuck 
was there an election June 23rd in the middle of fucking summer? There needs to be one uniform day throughout the country, two for the primary. You have one, in, you have an election day in the spring. You have it sometime in May. And then you have the actual election day in November. Both need to be national fucking holidays. Everybody has the day off. Do it on Saturday if you want to. I. This, that, that's why super low turnout. Like, it happens to me. I follow politics, and then like a day before, I'm like, "Oh shit, there's a mayoral race here." What? It's hard to keep up with a million different races throughout the year on different days in different municipalities. You might have a county on one day. You might have a city election on another. A school board election over here. It's insane. That is definitely a pet peeve of mine. If I ever get some modicum of influence, I will try to make a difference when it comes to that particular ordeal. Hi, buddy. How are you? Go ahead. We're going to bring it on home. With a rainbow at Yosemite Park. Oh, shit. Oh. I was hoping we had nice nature sound. We did not. <laughs> Quit showing them your ass, dude. <laughs> the lights lighting just right at Yosemite to create the rainbow effect. You agree? You think they twisted it to make her look bad? I don't... Ah, I'm cynical. Like, I don't want to... I don't want to accuse... I think most people, news agencies, are doing the best they can of trying to not be biased or anything. I know this because, you know, I worked in news for years. I but like that does seem kind of purposeful. I'm skeptical of it. <laughs> 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 